So what is up guys, it is Nisho here and uh, I'm in Central Park right now, but uh, <laughs> uh, just uh, just uh, chilling um, and I come across this uh, this balance prediction, right? Um, and I'm, I'm not the biggest guy for balance predictions, I usually just um, look at the balance when it's actually updated and I, I usually do a video on that. I've never actually done like a prediction um, and I think predictions are kind of aren't really the best thing to do just because um, it's, it, it's, you know, it, it's, it's not going to change anything, you know what I'm saying? It's always based on Konami, what Konami wants, what Konami, how Konami wants to see the game moving forward. So um, it won't always uh, be something that benefits the players. It'll be something that Konami, like, it'll always be the way Konami wants it to be. And so, yeah. Uh, so I saw this and I was like, you know what, this is actually a fair... Uh, list, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a list that I think uh, that Konami might actually uh, go ahead and do. Um, now, it does say uh, August in Spanish here. Um, I, I think he's a little misinformed just because um, Konami did state in an article that they were going to save the balance for uh, September. Um, like, although, you know, before they did say their next balance would be sometime in August, they uh, pushed it back to September. So, it is a little bit of a dick move, but, um, you know, just something to keep in mind. It's not coming out this month, um, mainly because of what you see in the forbidden section right there, <laughs> uh, Zodiacs. And so Zodiacs, um, Barrage, Dryden, and Broadbull all being put down to zero is uh, kind of what we expect here in the TCG. Um, at the very least, um, we expect them to be limited. Uh, Zoo is a very strong deck for, for Link format, and um, if we can learn anything from the OCG, we know that even with one Broad Bull, no Dryden, and no Barrage, and one Rat, the deck can still do a lot. So, I mean, the deck is just real crazy. It has uh, one monster uh, exceeds, and you can just get so much plus just off of, like, one combo, um, even in Link format, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, cards like Mrs. Radiant and Invoker exist, and Seraph Knight, and... <laughs> So many other things that just make the deck so good. And um, in the limited section, we see uh, Draconic Diagram at one. Um, this is also in the OCG, same thing for uh, Masterpiece. Um, both these guys are really strong cards. Uh, True Draco is like one of the best decks out right now. Um, I'd have been too. And the reason why, like I think True Dracos by themselves aren't really a bit too big of a deal. Um, I do think Masterpiece is uh, an overly powerful card. It's just Diagram. Um, the lack of once per turn on Diagram is kind of what makes it broken in my in my opinion. Um, because have, being able to have two of them and then activate one, uh, pop a card, and then activate another, and then search and search again, it may not seem like a, that big of a deal since, you know, it, it's a one for one. Um, but, you know, if you, if you use it the right way, it can actually be real broken. And uh, Masterpiece himself, obviously, um, you know, he's not completely impossible to stop. You know, Kaijus exist. Um, but that doesn't stop, you know, that doesn't mean that he's that he isn't broken, you know what I'm saying? So Masterpiece is also another card that um, I think it's fair at one. Um, won't do too much, but uh, won't be too weak either. I mean, a lot of people say True Dracos are dead with uh, Diagram and Masterpiece at one. Um, we'll, we'll just have to see. I mean, true kings do still exist, so, um, yeah. So next we have one Gofu. Um, so Gofu being limited to one, I have no problem with. It really makes a lot of strategies. And um, it's, it's like a one card, like, Link 3. It's like you, you have uh, you have options to go into Mrs. Radiant, Proxy Dragon, Deco Talker. So many options just off of one Gofu, and you're not even using your normal summon. So uh, Gofu is definitely a real strong card. And uh, I don't think it's ban worthy, but you know, at one I think it's fair, just because everybody can use it. Um, Danglong, searching the gates, he's so easy to make first turn because he's level five, 2800 defense, searches in the gates, uh, gets to mill worm type monsters from the deck uh, to make uh, a, um, exceed summoning easier or even uh, synchroing into another monster after summoning out Danglong. And then Danglong also replaces himself, he's a floater, 
when he leaves the field. And, you know, unlike uh, some of the other Yang Zings, it's, uh, it's not only when he's destroyed, um, it's just when he leaves the field in general by any way, shape, or form. He gets Kaiju, summon out the Yang Zing. He gets, uh, what is it, uh, Dark Hole, Raigeki, summon out Yang Zing. Sent back into the action deck, summon out Yang Zing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so at two we have card demise. Uh, so card demise, I don't really think it needed to get hit. Um, it just uh, maybe you know it, it could be something that Konami might consider if they want to stop um, you know uh, decks that don't really um, let's see uh, use too much skill like uh, like decks like uh, Chain Burn and you know True Draco. You know decks that are really helmet and. Uh, kind of get um, a lot of plus off of something like Card of Demise. Um, you know, it was like this guy uh, can, uh, with his dog. You know, it was really nice. So, uh, yeah, so Card of Demise is something that, eh, you know, I can see it happening, but uh, it, it, it might not. But because of Worlds, <laughs> it just might actually happen. Um, so, next we have a gateway here. Um, and it has an E on it, and so that E means errata. Um, so, I guess the uh, uh, person who made this balance wants gateway back to two, but with an errata on it. And I honestly can cannot agree with that, because um, the OCG has gateway at three, six samurais are too broken. Um, even with this new support, I don't think six samurais are gonna do anything too broken. Um, they uh, they have like a whole true Draco hybrid uh, hybrid build that I'm also doing a deck profile of, but um, it, it's not anything like I understand that it has broken loops and lack of once per turn on Gateway as well could probably make it a bit too broken, but um, I think that's really the point of Gateway. You know what I'm saying? It's like six samurais can summon out like five ten monsters in a turn. It's only going to be Kizans, you know. <laughs> Like after, like after, like the first two or three summons, it's only going to be Kizan that you're summoning. Maybe Shadow of the Six Samurai, um, Chien, if you if you have a, if you have like the extra deck Link Monster space for it. But if not, then you're not going to go into it. Um, the stacking attack isn't really that big of a deal, and the third effect you, you're not going to use at all, like ever. <laughs> so Union Hanger at two. Um, ABCs aren't the worst deck out there, but they aren't the best either. Um, even for Link format, I hear a lot of people saying ABCs are the best deck, and uh, I can't entirely agree because uh, they do have a lot of flaws. It is nice that they can go into like something like a Deco Talker, like they can loop their their Buster Dragon, like Buster Dragon, or kind of float it, kind of like tribute itself, summon out the three uh, A, B, and C, and then go into Deco and then summon out another Buster. It's it's not a bad combo, but um, I don't think it makes the deck like the most like uh, top tier, and so like having it at two, I think it, it just balances uh, the deck out a bit. We still have three terraforming because um, this list doesn't hit terraforming, and uh, we're gonna get metaverse as well. Um, although just be careful because uh, if you activate it, if you activate the field spell uh, with, with metaverse, um, the field spell any effect that would happen on activation would miss timing. So. Uh, just be wary of that because um, it's being activated inside of a you know all field spells are you know like ignition effects and so this does not fast enough to start its own chain so yeah um, well not ignition but kind of like it, 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 it'll just miss timing that's all I need to know and uh, yeah so Union Anger I, I'm fine with uh, Solemn Strike uh, a two, I, I think it's fair. Um, Solemn Strike is something that uh, kind of doesn't really ah, like it, in my eyes, it's like I, I don't really think it needs to get hit, but I can understand why people would think it needs to get hit, or why people or why Konami would hit it in general. Um, you know, it is a, a, a bit overpowered, you know, especially if your opponent has two or three of them set at the same time, but you know. I, I've never had a problem running into the card myself. I, I never thought it was like broken to the point where it's like, oh my god, this needs to get hit. I, I always thought it was fair. So, um, yeah. So next we do have the no longer on the list, unrestricted. Uh, we see Witch of the Black Forest 3. Um, it is with the errata 
that we have from um, the Battles of Legends uh, Light's Revenge. Um, I think it's only once per turn, and you can't use the monster that turn. Kind of like Sangen, I think uh, that, that's what her errata is. So um, I, I, I think that's fair, honestly. Um, I don't think Konami would put it back up to three like immediately. I think they, they'd go back up to one if it's not doing anything, and then back up to two, back up to three. But, like, they're they're going to take it slowly. Same thing uh, with Gateway, I think. They're going to... Unless they really want to, like, unless they're, they're really trying to push Six Samurai for uh, the Spirit Warrior set, um, what they're going to do is uh, they're going to uh, put Gateway back up to one in, uh, in the first list, and then after, like, another list, they're going to put it back up to two or three um, if it's not doing anything, which it most likely won't. Damn, this, this glare, man. <laughs> But this is, it's a nice day out though, so I'm, I'm not really complaining, it's just uh, I look so weird in the camera. Uh, so Upstart Goblin at 3, it's such a weird choice. Um, it's because like we, we never thought it would get limited, and when people, when it got limited, um, we were like, oh, like, well, like why are you limiting Upstart? Upstart isn't a problem card. Um, and now, uh, like, uh, there, this was like a post in Zodiac Duelist. And, you know, people were saying, oh, like, oh, Upstart 3 is broken. I'll bring ba uh, Upstart back up to 3. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like everybody, when it when it got hit, everybody was, was saying, like, oh, it's not a problem. But now it, uh, somebody wants it to come back up to 3. And then now people are saying, like, oh, it's too broken. It's too broken. I'm like, makes no sense. So you get a community sometimes. It can just be, just be crazy, man. Um, it may not be the same people, but, you know, who knows? And lastly, we do have Max C at 3. Um, I can't entirely agree with Max A3, um, but just because it's link format, um, I do think it is, I don't think Maxi is broken to a point where it needs to get hit anymore, but, um, I don't really know if I would feel okay with it going back up. I feel like Maxi really does, um, give the opponent a lot of an advantage and really puts the player, unless they have game, it really puts the player in a real tough situation where they have to pass and really uh, take the chance of getting um, gamed or getting outplayed themselves, or they have to push with a board that may or may not be able to make game, you know what I'm saying? So unless you definitely have game, you know, which most decks may not, um, Maxi is kind of just going to be like, it, it, it's just your opponent like intimidating you. And you know, if they chain it to something where you know you already special summoned you know and then it's like you're already halfway through your combo it's like do i stop here and you know if i do can i start up again next turn and you know some decks can't some decks can it really depends on the situation so yeah so yeah uh, this this list is interesting um it really only like the thing I, I like about this list is that it really only affects the meta um it doesn't kill um a lot of decks it only really kills zoo and zoo is still kind of playable um even without these three cards um i think this assumes that rap here is still at two and so i think that might still be partially a problem but um it, it might not be who knows um and you know true dracos i think they're they're gonna be like the uh, monarchs <laughs> after monarchs got hit it's just it's just gonna be a deck to play it's like, it's just going to be a helmet deck to play. That's, that's all it's going to be. Uh, Masterpiece is still going to be a broken card. And there are still other true, like, true Draco builds you can use. Um, or true King builds you can use with other decks. So, we're not completely out the yard there. Um, Denglong. Uh, Denglong is uh, something that, honestly, at one, I don't think it won't make too much of a difference. Uh, like, most decks only really need one. Like, you only really need to use one. And sometimes, uh, if you're playing like pure Yang Zings, you'll be able to like recycle it with uh, Yang Zing Path. But if not, then um, it, it won't really be too hard to like get it back. Usually, like it, I don't think dangling out, <laughs> dangling, uh, dangling out one is too much of a problem. It, it's just uh, Konami acknowledging that the card's pretty damn broken. <laughs> um, Demise Gateway, Gateway does not need an errata. I think that's the biggest thing biggest problem I have with this list. Uh, Demise is fine at 2. Uh, Gateway doesn't need an errata. Union Hanger is fine at 2. Strike is fine at 2. Which probably won't happen. Upstart probably won't happen. Like, this whole unbanned section probably won't happen. 
but the rest of this list seems very likely for what we can expect in September. I'm not saying it will happen, but you know, based on logical reasoning, this is what what I think just might happen. And it's not entirely a wish list because if it were up to me, Gateway would be at three, but you know, it's close enough. So, uh, what do you guys think? Um, tell me in the comments. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, so, what do you guys think about uh, bandless predictions in general? Usually, I try to stay away from them just because it, it, it's usually just like player bias and not always the, the best uh, source of information to base your opinions on. But, you know, uh, you just might be able to convince me otherwise if your argument is strong enough. But, uh, yeah. Um, this is Nisha here. Nisha out.